What it do? So Lil Dirk says his record label has been trying to pay him to beef with other artists. Label try to pay me to beef. I just can't fake it. I'm different. I'm unpredictable. I'm him. Unpredictable. Now he posted this uh cryptic tweet that the label is trying to initiate rap initiate rap rap beef for whatever reason. I guess to just, you know, entertainment purposes, get fans ride up the record sales. One person hot, the other person cold. Uh, you know, they're both hot or boost sales like the Kanye and Drake shit or you know, to just spark up beef shit, you know, just keep shit going. Keep you in the blogs, keep you on, you know, keep your name out there, keep you on podcasts and bloggers page, and just keep your name relevant. So a lot of people get irrelevant and get cold, so they need podcasts and beef to, to get some traction. Uh, but I, I, I salute Dirk a lot. I'm not the biggest Lil Dirk fan, but I salute Dirk a lot for this thing to his code and morals and on ethic, just being ethical, just being a solid man. Like, I'm not about to participate in rap beef behind this shit. And these record labels are only doing that with black men. Uh, I hate to hear about, about racing this shit, but they throwing it with black guys. I don't see white rappers beating with other white rappers like that. And if, and if they do, it's on the mic. It ain't getting deadly. Only the black rappers I know die. I don't know no white rapper who have died from gun violence and getting shot. Only the black rappers. I don't know no upcoming black rappers, white rappers that die from getting shot and gunned down in the street. I don't know any white rappers like that who have to have security like that. And bulletproof cars and SUVs and have a hundred homeboys with them. They hundred they niggas with them and protecting them. And they protect the white man like oh, President Obama. They protect him like Joe Biden or some shit. Like he George Bush. And he get a buzz haircut, some gold chains and some tats. And get some street cred. And create a rap sheet. These niggas protect them. They're ready to die for him. Hell, the dude with Adam 22, that man was ready to say, he said, I'm ready to risk it all. Just because he gave you a job. So it seems like to me they only initiating this and they only putting this propaganda on black men to beef and, and, and kill each other because I don't see white rappers beefing and they killing each other and they dying and they having shootouts. I don't know any white rapper, big white rappers who had clout and who was moving streams died of gun violence. If anybody so, drop it in the comment section and we can debate this. You can come on my platform and we can debate this. What white, white, what white rappers have died from rap beef? All the only black rappers have died in the history of hip hop from gun violence. I don't know any white rappers died from gun violence. Uh, I don't. I just feel like they're just slamming the record label. They, they're promoting this shit, knowing these guys are from the streets, and they're trying to see these guys escalated and die behind this. They they trying to make the they're trying to bring the streets in the music industry, and I feel like it's fucked up. If you want to be in the streets. You have to be in the streets. You can't be a part-time rapper and a full-time street nigga or vice versa. You you can't do it like that. You you, you can't have both, you know. You got to be on either one side or the other. It, it just that's how it works. You know, you you can't you can't straddle the fence with it. And and what they're doing is, you know, little baby talked about it. He wanted little baby wanted him to be his people wanted him to be with the baby cuz they both had the same name kind of so the baby, both the same name sort of so uh, what they do, they like they see the fans. They they know the fans like this shit. They're gonna keep it keep it going and keep shit going with it. And it ain't doesn't stop until somebody end up dead. And we saying RIP and and shit. You know we miss them. And we talking about them for two weeks. And we got look up old buddies like J Cole said in all my life with the Dirk song. We got look up buddies song in two weeks. We don't even hear about them. So it just shows the fakeness of the industry. I believe a lot of these relationships are fake. They set these artists up because they can get clicks, they can get sales, they can get their streams up. You know, uh, this is where they can move some units. So they do this right here to be relevant. You know, they, they this is what they do. Is this shit's like loving hip hop? This rap game. The industry's like loving hip hop. It's like reality TV. Or a false reality that that is. Uh, so I, I salute Dope for standing on his toes, standing ten toes, and not just going for anything. Just nothing but respectful, like. So th this is right. It's based around beef, though. I, I don't. I don't understand for this though. Like a lot of people be talking about slide for fun and do this right. Here. But I, I mean, if this is all the record labels are selling right now. It's drill music, gangsters. They ain't got no conscious rap. They ain't selling reggae. It's the very conscious rapper like Drake and Kendrick. I mean, the J Cole, the Kendrick, even the Drakes or whatever. I mean, they're not only but 
It's, that's what the record label is selling. It's gangsterism. They're selling it as masculinity, being a thug with your pants sagging down and talking like a fool, or acting like Kodak Black, like a jackass, talking like him. And I don't understand anything Kodak say. And Kodak is a very intelligent guy, but I'm pretty sure the label and the people want him to keep this character up for whatever reason uh, and portray this image. So they're hyping up this image and this gangsterism, and they want these guys to live their life, but they don't understand the sacrifice that comes with it. When people, when you li- trying to portray this life. People don't understand this is a job. Rapper nothing but a job and acting. So when the fans see you, they want to know if you gangster about that, posting guns on the internet, being in the trenches, and they want to see if you really bought that gunplay. They want to they want to test your gangster and see how gangster you is. See the white label don't push that on on white rappers. They're only pressuring black rappers to do this to beef with one another, and and you know pull up on one another and get spark some rap beef and get gangster and, and do this shit right here. Knowing that how this shit can get deadly. Knowing how it can get risky and know how sticky the situation can get. I, I just don't understand what's wrong with just selling records, man, making hot music and shit. Uh a lot of the, the beefs don't even be real beef like you know, a lot of these rap and then the sad part, a lot of these rappers are still keeping street ties in the industry. I just feel like, in my humble opinion, as a rapper, you need to let all your street ties go and let and just focus on the microphone, bro. Make your business, make your money about the music, about the streets, but don't put your business in the streets. Like, don't don't risk it all and lose it all. Like, it, the culture has influenced so many people. It influenced John Morant to flash guns and shit. So. This is where we at with our culture right now. You got to be, and, and you're beefing and, and stopping. Like, young boy a couple weeks ago was saying stop the violence. Dirk was them saying stop the violence. But their record label was not going to tell them to do that. They're going to tell them to make gangster music, kill, kill music, beef with one another, and keep this shit going. So, so somebody gets hurt. Like, Tupac and Biggie. Until shit get deadly, then we like, hey, stop the violence, man. Y'all boys got down, calm down, stop with this op shit. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see the white people have ops. The, the black people ain't beefing with the white people was out. I only see the black rappers beefing with other black rappers and niggas end up dead and shot. So yeah, I just look like a, a never ending cycle, a perpetuation cycle of violence in the community. And it has to stop though. It has to make change with it. You know, Dirt from the trenches, he's from Old Block. Uh, he lost a lot of his close friends and close homies. So, you know, maybe he get a change of heart about this. Maybe he's finally seeing the bigger light, the bigger picture. And he, he understands that he got too much to lose. He's meeting with the mayor. He, he's making these business moves. I like the, the song with J. Cole is cool. I think that song might be a Grammy or nominated for a Grammy. So, I mean, he definitely represent for the trenches right now. And it's treacherous right now. So, y'all like comment subscribe to the video, though, man. I just feel like the beef shit need to stop. It's corny. It's lame. Just make hot music and shit, though. Like, make better music, guys. But y'all like comment subscribe to the video and shit. I'm out.